main event, far and away, biggest line discrepancy here. Sean Shelby will be happy to learn that most of these fights are, are very close on paper. Biggest favorite, though, is Yaya Rodriguez, 10th in the world at featherweight at minus 450, taking on the UFC Hall of Famer and former two-division champion BJ Penn, who is at plus 355. BJ likes the challenge, Kenny. He's got a big one here. Are you going Rodriguez or Penn? And, of course, we will also need a method of victory and a round if you'd be so kind. Um, you know what? I'm still waiting um, to kind of uh, get on that Yair Rodriguez train. I I'm not on it yet. And I think that uh, Yair is um, it – it's over It's overinflated, you know, the fact that he's this big of, of a favorite against BJ Penn. Now, I, I think that BJ Penn's last few performances, maybe last several performances, would indicate that that, uh, that line is correct. You know, BJ hasn't shown up. From everything that I'm hearing, however – uh, is that BJ Penn, the old BJ Penn, is back um, with a couple new tricks. And uh, I think that BJ Penn uh, will be able to take advantage of a failed uh, risky attack from Yair Rodriguez. Now, Yair could could knock him out. He could land one of those big strikes, one of those crazy techniques, and, and take BJ Penn out. Then I, I will definitely be sold on Yair Rodriguez, but I don't think I don't know if he's ready for someone like BJ Penn. I don't know if his ground game um, is ready. That, that that's for sure. I think BJ has a big advantage on the ground. I, I think Yair. I, I think Yair is very tricky with his kicking game. Um, he could certainly take out uh, BJ with one of those crazy kicks. But striking wise, boxing wise, I think BJ is better, um, and I think BJ wins this uh, in a big upset. How about Ken Flo picking B.J. Penn at 38 years old? Actually, before we get into this, give me the uh, method of victory in the round. You think it goes the distance? Right. Let's say, uh, no, it does not go the distance. I think it will be a stoppage uh, from strikes by B.J. Penn in either round one or round two. Let's go with round two. Round two. B.J. Penn by TKO due to strikes over Yaya Rodriguez. You are totally fearless. I love it. So BJ Penn, 38 years old, 24th UFC appearance, made his pro debut in the UFC when Yaya Rodriguez was eight years old. Rodriguez has won eight in a row, and I got a chance to call Rodriguez's last fight against Alex Caceres, a main event, and so I'm on board at this point. That fight went the distance. I think this is a special, special fighter, Julio Jacobo. The floor is yours, my man. You going with the heavy favorite, Rodriguez, or the underdog, B.J. Penn? Now, this is a scary fight for B.J. Penn. Uh, Rodriguez is young, hungry, and talented. But I think we're going to see the return of motivated B.J. Penn. Uh, he's been working for far too long in his comeback, and I think if he wasn't fully motivated, he might have quit by now. Uh, he's yeah. been working with Greg Jackson, who, uh, in my opinion, is the best coach in MMA. And Jackson used to coach Rodriguez, so he's got the inside track on him. Uh, I'm going to call the upset and say B.J. Penn will win by submission. Uh, round two. Unbelievable. Of all the things I expected on the Anakin Florian podcast today, I did not expect a couple of picks on BJ Penn, but that's why they play the games. I guess my last visual of BJ Penn is two and a half years ago, completely upright against Frankie Edgar, just listless as could be in there. But I think you, you, you bring up good points. Both of you guys, Julio, talking about the motivation. That certainly seems to be there. It all plays out for you Sunday night on FS1. Julio Jacobo, man, feel better. Thanks for the time today. We'll talk to you in a few weeks, all right? Thanks a lot. As a reminder, everybody, follow me at Boom on the Bench on Twitter. Uh, I just started a production company. We're making some films. Going to throw some MMA films in there once in a while. It's 5B Films 1 on Twitter, 5B Films on Instagram and Facebook. Nice. Ken Flo's day rate is like 4K, so don't get any ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm coming for you, Kenny. You're going to be in one of my films one day. <laughs> you got it. All right, thank you. That does it for the main event challenge. We'll update the standings next week. And, of course, you are incentivized here to pick underdogs, so maybe that's why we get a couple of BJ Penn plays. But you both seem pretty convicted on, on BJ Penn, not only to beat Yaya Rodriguez,